Welcome to Speak Out, Election Speak Out. My name is Stuart Strachan. I'm pleased to introduce to you Mario Palmero. He is running for the Gresham City Council, first seat position. His background includes Mount Hood Community College, uh, transferring to Portland State where he got a degree in political science. He's done over seven years of community service here in Gresham, including uh, SMART program, Habitat for Humanity, Rockwood Weed and Seed, and uh, six years of tax preparation for AARP. Welcome, Mario. Thank you. Um, my name is Mario Palmero, and I am running for Gresham City Council, C Position 1. Um, I feel that Gresham is, has come to a very important time in its history. The people we choose to elect on November 6th to represent Gresham will have a tremendous impact on Gresham's future urban and economic development. Now, what I want to do is build bridges between City Hall and our diverse community. I want people to have a seat at the table. I want people to be involved in the development and process and the application of, of every economic and urban development plan we have. I also want people to, to take a, a bigger role in community policing and, and use the tools we have now for policing, uh, but with a more community-based approach. When you say you want to bring more people into the, the uh, police accountability and the police uh, or, or the um, safety, public yeah. safety, how do you propose on doing that? Uh, well, Gresham is unique, uh, different in, from the other major cities in Oregon. Uh, for example, Oregon City, Beaverton, and Portland. We have two very distinct things going for us in the city. You know, the first is the, the high content or high volume of blue collar workers, middle class people, and also a rich, diverse community. Uh, in order for, for, this, for our uh, public safety to get better, um, and we have to understand that, that the, the middle class understands the relationship between crime and property value and the, the importance of, of personal um, uh, property. So if we can get you know, the, the Russian, the Asian, the Hispanic, the Greek, the Italian com communities involved in, in community uh, neighborhoods and community um, uh, uh, watch, uh, I think that will make a great difference in, in our public safety. And I want to make it clear that poli police officers alone cannot deter crime, but a community can. So I want to get the community involved in, in that process. What about police accountability in, in the, uh, bringing the, the community policing into that? Well, what I mean by using the current tools that we have now uh, for community policing, uh, for example, we are, we're having a budget crisis in Gresham. Um, there's talk in regards to the, uh, the uh, non-emergency phone calls, which, which calls we should or should not respond to. And what I want to do is, is, is work on that and, and work with, with the city, uh, city manager, city mayor, and the council uh, to have any person or any, or any person in the Neighborhood Watch Association that calls a non-emergency phone number to respond to that phone call. So if you are a person in the neighborhood and you have a lot of traffic coming in and out of your home and you have somebody in your neighborhood involved in, in the Neighborhood Watch Association and they call the city, you better believe we're going to be knocking on your door. And if you keep doing it, we're going to keep knocking on your door. That's what I mean by that. Uh, in regards to the urban development, now, uh, Gresham, Gresham is Oregon's best kept, kept secret. Uh, and I, I also want to talk about, and I know a lot of people are, are inundated with flyers, political flyers, and politicians saying, oh, I, can create, I, I can create <laughs> yeah. jobs, 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 jobs. I'll be glad when this yeah. election season's over. Well, politicians don't create jobs. What we simply do is provide the resources the tools and the infrastructure for entrepreneurs, inventors, so they can create the jobs. So if we do our job well, we, we give them the tools to succeed, uh, then if they do well, the community does well. So right now, what we're looking at is, is uh, the uh, West Rockwood Urban Development Plan. Now, if you live in Rockwood, if you want to open a business in Rockwood or you have a business in Rockwood, please come down to City Hall express your ideas, however small, however big. Together, we can do this in a cost-effective and efficient way. And that's, what I, and, and, and that's how we're going to create jobs. That's how we're going to turn things around. That's how we're going to raise the property values in Gresham. If you're looking to buy a house 
and, and you want to buy it at a low price, come to Gresham. Buy in Gresham. Invest in Gresham. Because two to four years from now, we're going to turn this around. Property values will go up. That's what I, that's what I plan to do and I, with the help of the city council mayor and, and, and the city manager. So, yes, that's, that's my plan. Do you want to elaborate any further on, on your uh, plans with the uh, urban development and the uh, economic development? Well, I just feel that, that you know, we have an, a, an important opportunity and a very unique opportunity to uh, develop Rockwood. Uh, we can make Saturday Market downtown look like, you know, or compel in comparison what we can create here in Gresham. Uh, and if anyone has any ideas or has any concerns, it doesn't matter what language you speak. Uh, City Hall is more than just a building by a MAC station. It's a public institution and it's here to serve you. So please come to, to City Hall, voice your opinions. Uh, I, hopefully I will be there uh, and, uh, and hopefully we can get this going. You know, hot that kind of touch, touches on some, yeah. some of the uh, hot button issues yeah. that, that Gresham are facing right now, um, including the, the uh, redistricting. Now, as I understand it, uh, the, the idea is to create districts within Gresham, voting districts, yeah. where people who perhaps are not being represented or underrepresented would have more of an opportunity for representative yeah. democracy. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I believe it's, it's now a measure that is going to be proposed to, to the citizens of Gresham. Um, and, uh, you know, I believe, you know, when I, was, when I chose to run for city council, um, I felt that, that, you know, Rockwood's interest was not being represented as well. I mean, I, they were doing a great job. Uh, but when I felt that I needed to get involved, everyone at City Hall was very open, kind. They, they were very informative. Uh, in no way did I feel the democratic process was thwarted to me. If I did, I would, I would be uh, for this, this, uh, re or this districting of, of, of Gresham. At this point, uh, I'm not open to any arguments against it, but at this point I am with the status quo. I don't believe there's an issue there. Uh, I believe if, if you uh, want to represent your community and have strong feelings to represent your community, you can do it. You can you know, fill out the paperwork and it's open to everyone, everyone. In, in but you're Hall. not opposed to any opposing no, ideas no, of, regarding no. that? You're no, open not. to them? I am open to them. But at this point, I did not feel there was any uh, thwarting of the democratic process in regards to me running for, for city office. Okay, moving on, we, we have uh, always a fun topic, uh, taxes. Oh, The fun. 750 yeah. uh, uh, proposal for uh, taxes, I believe it would go toward the water bill, and yeah. it would be uh, applied toward the, the fire and police department. Yes. Um, yeah. what, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I think I was misquoted previously you know, in the newspaper article. Um, the water bill is the only public utility that is not funded. In other words, if you are behind on your electricity bill and your gas bill, uh, you can seek community assistance. However, with the water, there is no assistance. So I do support uh, finding different means of, of, of getting revenue, uh, but the water bill is not. I, we, have, we have a population, that, a, a big population in Gresham, that, that lives on a, on a set income, uh, increasing them $7.50 is just not a good idea. Uh, I don't want our citizens, our senior citizens that are depending on Social Security to to, um, to make a choice between paying for the medications or paying for the water bill, since there is no assistance for water bill. So, or the middle class, we have a big middle class. They've been taking it on the chin from the beginning of this recession. They make too much to get any public help or public assistance, uh, and they're coming out of pocket with, with, with many of the costs that, that, that the city needs uh, to, to maintain its service. Its, so its you're not service. opposed? really to the tax, it's just the way it's being yes, proposed? Yes, yes, not okay. on the water bill. Now, I support the police department. I support every frontline staff at Gresham City Hall. You know, they use this word lean. Uh, what that means is the people at, 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 at the, the workers at City Hall, at Gresham City Hall, are, are working twice as hard, and, and the service level they provide to, to us is incredible. So when we get out of this situation, this recession, which we will get out of this recession, I think they need to be rewarded. I, I do support our police officers and, and our fire department, but we need to find a different way to, to, to gather revenue. 
Okay, Mario, we are uh, running out of time quickly. So yeah. uh, do you have any closing remarks? Um, well, I'd like to thank uh, Metro, Metro East Community Television for giving me the opportunity to speak to the Gresham uh, citizens and East Multnomah County citizens. And I am running for Gresham City Council position one. Thank you. Uh, you thank you, uh, Metro East Community Media. Uh, wonderful service you provide. Thank you. Um, and thank you, viewers, for watching. Uh, be sure to vote this upcoming election. Thank November you. 6th. November 6th. Thank you 6th. so much, Stuart. All right.